Hi guys, uh, this is Lydia Marius, uh, or Amy, if you want to call me Amy. Uh, you've seen my pre-existing videos on my new fursuit mask, my new fur mask. Um, and that mask was unfortunately uh, killed in a very bad accident. It was entrusted to some friends who um, had problems with their apartment and to get rid of some insects that were inside the apartment they had to heat the apartment up to a very hot degree and uh, my first mask was made of plastic canvas and glue plastic glue heat plastic melts so literally that beautiful mask that you saw that I first made caved in quite literally and uh, it was useless. I tried my best to save it and I couldn't. The whole frame was warped and it was just beyond repair. I had to take out the teeth and uh, the nose and I tried to scavenge what I could so I could put it in my new wolf mask. And this is my new wolf mask. Sorry, I have a fan on. <laughs> This is my new wolf mask. Here's the side. Here's the front. I know it's a little lopsided, but trust me, when I have it on, it'll be all filled out and uh, normal looking. Now, I was told that for the mesh inside of the eyes to see out of, I use ladies' hosiery stockings, black stockings, and stretch them as tight as you can so that uh, you can see out of them really well. But I was told that you should look for, um, it was a certain product, it's a fabric, um, Taff no, taffeta? No. Not taffeta. Trust me, when I think of it, I'll let you guys know. I'll, I'll put it in underneath the uh, information bar when I, when I remember what it is. Or if I figure it out later, I'll let you guys know. Um, I'm still designing this. Um, it is the move up and down. See, these are the teeth and the tongue from the first mask. They're being reused. This is the new nose. And yes, the nose does lay back a little bit this way. Only because, well, it's my nose and I want it to. Yes, I know it doesn't look like a dog's nose. I mean, it does from the front, but from this side, oh no, it's curved just a bit. Well, I look like this. The fur is going to be kind of thick. By the time that the fur is up there and stuff, I think everything should look pretty cool. And then when I shave it a little bit to make it look nice, it'll look pretty. You know, not all noses are perfect. Okay, uh, this is duct taped already, as you can see. I'm currently working on the eyes, around the eyes, right here. And what I'll do is I will post up new videos after each segment is done. So the first segment will be eyes. Okay, and the next segment I have no clue, <laughs> but I'll let you know by putting it up. Uh, more than likely it'll be around the eyes and the side tier underneath the eye line. I'm thinking about doing this part right here white. It'd look pretty cool. Um, I'm going to try and make it look a little bit like the first mask. Uh, but different, but also I want her to look female. I'm going to put her on to let you see what she looks like. And yes, 
my chin rests on this part right here on the inside right behind the tongue in the back the, the front part of my chin rests right against the back of the tongue and if I want the mouth to open them up wider I just put my chin on the top of the back of the tongue and get it open just a little bit wider but it's pretty comfy it's a little tight on at first but it'll get used to it and yes I know yes it is a little flat on the side I know this already don't worry what it's going to happen though is these will have fur going out this way not this way and I also think it's kind of thick because of the, the, the tape I have a pretty good amount of tape going on right now <coughs> uh, and anyways even if this this side is a little lopsided after you get furred you can always just even it out by cutting it just the right way and I'm going to have a, a, a kind of type of small mane here and I have actual resin eyes for in here they, they're going to fit right up through here I have metal things to stick them up into the foam I'm going to have one that goes up right in here it'll be connected to right here on the inside and uh, I'm just going to hot glue them up in there after I get the eyes foamed it's going to be really easy and I'll still be able to see out of this right here they're only going to be about right here and then going out a little bit they look really cool um, I'll insert the eyes after I get the black parts done so you guys can see the eyes what it looks like um, but I know the ears are a bit tall but I don't know I, I have a feeling it's going to look really good compared to my first mask this looks pretty awesome Sorry, <laughs> I'm just looking at her from all angles. She's pretty comfy. I can still get my hand in there. If I need to do something, pull up, push up my glasses, you know, get a water bottle stuck, you know, in here so I can get a drink of water. I've already tried the straw test, so the straw fits up there. Um, it also doesn't open up very wide because I do have tape right here blocking the jaw. big difference between this mask and the first mask is that this isn't a Frankenstein jaw piece where the jaw only it goes from here this way and this part you know is one separate piece like in my first video uh, this time it's these two pieces are separate right here there's one here and there's one down here and they're connected underneath that piece of tape what I want to try to do is uh, have fur up to a certain amount from here to about maybe here and then have it split into two pieces if I want to keep the same color I don't know um, I'll tell you what I have a contest for you guys you see this take this and count in for the, the, the black around the rims and the white here going to here and the colors are black very little white don't use a lot of white except for except this part here and gray and maybe a little bit of brown okay here's the contest design me a way you would have the mask if you could design this mask in the colors I gave you 
okay? Now remember, I don't have much white, so use sparingly, okay? I want something to look nice around the muzzle and around the bottom here. I have a lot of black, but I don't want it to be a pure black mask, okay? And I do have some brown. I'm willing to use a little bit of brown. Uh, but I have a pretty okay amount of gray. So I think it should be okay. I want something really cool looking with the ears. Uh, so whoever wins this contest, um, if you could submit pictures to me to my email at ladyamarius at hotmail.com uh, I will take them into account and whoever is the best by the time I get the eyes done I will uh, post the video the next video uh, and I will give them credit for the design and I will put if I can do it, if I, if I figure out how to do it I will post a link to their YouTube site. Okay? Um, it's not much of a reward, but I will give a shout out to you. And uh, um, if you're interested in making a mask, feel free to call me on Skype and so on and so forth to uh, get my personal opinions on how to make a mask or anything you want to ask me. I know it's not much. I'm sorry. But hey, it's for fun. And you get to use your imagination. Okay? Now, I know you've pretty much you've seen the kitty cat behind me. This is my gray kitty cat, my last mask that I made. I'm not done with her eyes. So her eyes look a little funny. They almost look like the eyes from the host, from uh, Stephanie Meyer's new book, The Host, I guess, I think it's called. And she's got teeth, too. She doesn't have a tongue yet. I don't know if I'm going to do a tongue on her or not. But she's about my biggest mask I've ever made. I'm also thinking about putting her up for sale. If somebody is interested in, in purchasing her, feel free to leave me a comment and um, I can even sell her as is for a, a lower price. And as long as you send me the shipping and handling with a money order, um, I can send you the mask with the, the shipping and handling. Send it right to you. So, let me know. Thanks for watching the video and um, as soon as I get done with the eyes and I hear from you guys for the contest, um, I will be happy to post the next video and announce the winner. Okay? Thank you guys so much and uh, feel free to comment, rate, and to come by any time and visit. Alright, take care. Johnny!